Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Chanel J12 Superleggera Chronograph in aluminum and ceramic. You can see and purchase this chronometer automatic chronograph on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoyed these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images and naturally complete pricing details for this ceramic and aluminum chronograph. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see the look of the watch as well as the materials applications represented a considerable set of strides forward from the original original all black ceramic, all black ceramic bezel, bracelet, case concept, the J12 that Chanel launched in 2000. Now that was an aggressive play for a male clientele, for an enthusiast of mechanical watches and luxury watches that Chanel had not attempted to entice previously. Long known for women's fashion, fashion products, and quartz watches, it was in 2000 with that original Jacques Hallou designed J12 that the company began to make an impact in high horology. For 2007, we got the watch that you see here, the Super Legera Chronograph. Now, 41 millimeters across the round of the case, not inclusive of crown guards, crown, or chronograph pushers. It's reasonably compact from top to bottom, 14.5 millimeters, but it wears a thin 14.5. As you can see, the domed ceramic and aluminum bezel allows a dress cuff or a tight sleeve to ramp up and over its flanks with ease. Now, from lug to lug, it's fairly compact, 47.5 millimeters from lug to lug, but the outcropping end pieces, the, the intermediate length that will not bend straight down, means that across the wrist from extremity to extremity, it's a much more robust 55.5 millimeters. So yes, a 41 millimeter watch, but you want to think of this as the 41 that wears like a 43 or a 44. However, the case back has a nice regular flat shape to it. It's incredibly light by virtue of the combination of aluminum and ceramic, both of them considerably lighter than steel. It even has a little bit of a camber to it. As you can see, the arc of the case allows it to rest and drape itself over the top of the wrist. So a very comfortable watch to wear. And again, it's that combination of ceramic and aluminum, and everything is colored quite literally. What you see that's silver is aluminum. What you see that's black is ceramic. And it's nice that Chanel designed the ceramic at all of the primary contact points, the top of the bezel, the flanks of the case, the outer links of the bracelet, so that the highly scratch-resistant kiln-fired material can ensure that any scratches or scuffs are rebuffed by its substance, not the softer and more vulnerable brushed aluminum. Now, it is very comfortable on the wrist, and you'll note large channels between the individual links on the bottom of the bracelet ensures that it will not pinch skin or pull hair. It has a very handsome combination, titanium and steel inner deployant buckle for security and strength. It also uses a leaf spring system, much like we've seen on watches from Richard Mille and Blancpont in the 50 Fathoms family. So when it's closed, it actively closes itself. It's not friction fit so much as it's held in place by the continuous pull of the spring. It's low in profile, beautifully built, and it works just as well. Now, you can see the case of the watch, 41 millimeters, principally dominated by the bezel and the dial. The bezel has a nice loft to it. It also has the texture and the, I would say, mass-breaking details of a tachymetric scale, the better to judge the speed of objects over a known distance. Great for racing, whether you're a fan of sailing or aviation, motorsports, or offshore power boating, there's something for you in the tachymetric scale. You can also note that the dial itself is quite complex. Luminescent outboard of the applied and blackened Arabic numerals. Inboard, there's a cut and a railroad track to the center dial with countersunk subregisters for counter for counting the minutes of the chronograph at nine o'clock and constant seconds at three o'clock. All of the hands are beautifully blackened, but minutes and hours are loomed, so you can read the watch at night. The contrast of the blackened hands for sub-registers and hands at center on the silver is exquisite, and the metallic tones of the dial nicely match the metallic tones of the bezel and the bracelet. 
Now, if you're wondering what's inside, it is a chronometer grade ETA 2894 modular vertical clutch automatic chronograph here delivered in COSC chronometer grade, which means a higher grade of power supply, a higher grade of balance, a higher grade of hairspring, and a higher grade of regulation. Now, it has all of the underlying virtues of the 2894, including that column wheel setup or I should say vertical clutch. It is a cam but vertical clutch system. The vertical clutch allowing you to engage the chronograph with no jump to the seconds hand, unlike a lateral clutch. You see it starts, it stops without stagger, and it always resets precisely to the index at 12. Plus being a vertical clutch system, you can simply leave it running with no additional hazard to the movement, no additional wear and tear. Pull the crown, it hacks the balance, stop the seconds hand, and now you can synchronize to a reference time. There's also a quick set to rapidly correct the date, and of course with screw down pushers and crown, it comes with 200 meter water resistance. So this is about as versatile a watch as you can ask for with a movement that's about as accurate as you could hope for. A great combination of style and substance. You can see this Chanel J12 Super Legera ceramic and aluminum chronometer chronograph and buy it on our website.